Greetings everybody, Nick DiVirgilio here and today's video is on these Ludwig Acro snare drums. Ludwig snares have been mainstays in music for decades and for good reason. They sound fantastic. They'll last forever if you take care of them, of course. They work well in the recording studio or on the live stage. They are the drummer's drum. And most drummers that I know have at least one, if not more than one Ludwig snare in their collection. Ludwig has been making their Acrolyte snares for a very long time. It was originally introduced in 1963 as a student drum, but once the professionals heard the sound, it gained popularity very quickly. It was and is different than the other drums like the Black Beauty or the famous LM402. Its dry characteristics added that perfect tone to the drummer's sound palette. Well, Ludwig has raised the bar once again, a sort of grand re-entrance to their classic snare drums. Not one, but four acro models to choose from. I'm gonna take you through each one so you can compare the sound. And if you're in the market for a new snare, I would encourage you to take an even closer look at these Ludwig Acro snare drums. Before we go there, I would ask that you like this video and subscribe to our channel if you're not already a subscriber. Also, for even more info on all the gear that Sweetwater sells, which is a ton, head on over to Sweetwater.com. It's time to get on to the Acro snares. There are four shells in the line. The ever classic and original aluminum, which I have right here in the center. There's also copper, which I have to my left. Bronze, which is right in front of me here. And brass to my far left over here. The shells are lightly tempered and brush sanded, which essentially has the opposite effect of polishing. It roughs up the shells a little bit to give them a little bit additional warmth on the top end. They are seamless one millimeter shells all drawn from a single sheet, as they are with the Supra and Black Beauty models. All of the drums have the exact same hardware, so let me go through that first, and then we'll get into the sound of each drum. There's 2.3 millimeter steel triple flanged hoops, 18 strand vintage snare wires, the new P86 cast throw off. Now I'm gonna stop here for a second because this is the coolest piece of gear. I mean, next to the shells, it's the coolest piece of gear on these drums. It has a great look and it's super simple to use. And when, you know, a throw off is really one of the most important pieces of gear on a snare drum. You wanna be able to get the snare wires off really easily and back on. You can tighten up the snare wires. It's just simple to use and it has a great look. It's this piece of gear right here. It's actually in two sections and you tighten and loosen the snare wires in the middle. Usually the knob is on the top of the throw off. They've designed it this way with the knob in the center, which is a great change. It's super simple to get the wires on and off. You'll notice at the bottom part where the snare wires are attached moves in and out as I turn the throw off on. There's a spring right at the bottom to help that go back and forth. All in all, it's such a cool design, has some great etching on it as well. I took one of these P86 throw offs and put it on a drum from the 1970s or 80s. My father-in-law has this great old Ludwig hand hammered brass drum. The throw off was getting old, wasn't working too well. I put one of these on and it works perfectly. So it's a great new addition to Ludwig's hardware. There's classic Ludwig lugs on all of these drums. It looks great on the shells. Also, you get coated ambassador heads on the bottom, clear ambassador on the resonant side, and all of these drums are handcrafted in Ludwig's Monroe, North Carolina factory. So now let's go through each drum individually and then we'll play them all together. I'll put the snare wires on and off and you can hear what these drums sound like. I started with the tuning as close to the same on each drum. The nuances are slight, but you'll definitely be able to hear a little more dark flavor, a little bit more brightness, depending on the shell that I'm playing. So let's first start with the classic aluminum acrylite. Now this is the one that was first made. It's been around for a long time. It's got a dry and powerful sound. Start with the snare wires off and then I'll turn them on as I'm playing. Here we go.
what a great sound. And that sustain at the end, when I hit that rim shot with both sticks, the sustain lasted for a while. That is a great thing. That's the life of the drum really coming out. If you want to deaden up the drum with some snare weights or other dampening products, you certainly can do that and make it even drier. Different head combinations will dry up the sound as well. But that open, dry aluminum sound of the aluminum shell is awesome. Now let's get into the bronze drum. It's the one right in front of me. Same thing, I'll start with the snare wires off and then put them on as I go. Here we go. The sound is slightly different with the bronze shell. It sort of harkens to a wood shell drum just a little bit. It's warmer. It has more throat, more low end sort of goodness to it. It's loud, but in a really musical way. And it's really sensitive too. Boy, you can do anything with this drum. All right, now to the copper shell. Snare wire's off first and uh, let's check it out. Here we go. Probably the darkest sounding of the four shells. It's really warm, has a great throaty sound, and when you dig into it, boy, it really gives back and just has a big bark to the sound. A little more sustain, I think, to my ear at least, than the bronze, but it just has a nice different characteristic to it. Now, last but not least, is the brass shell. It's over here on my far left. Snare wire's off and then back on. Here we go.
very nice warm sound to the brass drum over here. Again, super sensitive like all the drums are and just a great different characteristic. Now, again, these are all slightly different characteristics, but definitely get warmth and then a little bit warmer, a little bit less warm, all have the same sort of power. Now, what I want you to do, since I'm talking all this warm, a little less warm, all that kind of stuff, let's play all of the drums and see if you can tell the difference. I'll do nice single strokes with each drum, so it's simple at first, and then I'll play a groove with each drum, and let's see what they sound like. Here we go. Well, do you hear a difference between each drum? Again, it's slight, but to my ear, I definitely do. I love the aluminum, but I think I really love this copper over here as well, the warmth and body to it. But man, you can't go wrong with any one of these drums. So one last thing I would like to try. So I'm gonna play these things with some brushes over here. You can hear the difference that way. And then I might slightly change the tuning of each drum before we finish off this video. All right, one last little experiment before we finish off this video, I changed the tuning of the drums. I brought down the tuning of the aluminum pretty low and it's very dry. I brought up the tuning of the bronze, brought down the tuning of the copper, so it's pretty dry and really made the brass almost dead, but in a great musical way. So you can really take these drums anywhere you want, which makes them great for any style of music, depending on what you're doing, right? So check out the sound like this. Ludwig's Ack 
micro snare drums. Add one or add all of them to your snare drum collection. They are very inspiring instruments to play. If you want any more info on these Ludwig products, head on over to Sweetwater.com or reach out to your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Cheers.